Welcome back inside Doe Campbell Stadium. I'm Ryan Pincy for your Florida State versus Boston College game preview. After two weeks away from the friendly confines of Doe Campbell Stadium, the Seminoles are happy to return back home and still trying to shake off the nightmares of last week's 17-16 loss to NC State. But with six games remaining in the season, the Seminoles know that all of their goals are still attainable. Season's not over with, you know, that was just one game. We still have a lot more game, a lot more football games to play. So, yeah, I think that's one of the biggest things that you can see about it. You know, a lot of times after a loss, you can tell things are a little bit more uptight, you know, but, you know, we, we still know what kind of football team we are, you know, and we know we should never lost that game, you know, and, and we just have to move on and, you know, not look back at it and just take it week, for week, week by week. We put it in the past when it came to Sunday stretch and stride. We came together as a team as a, and just basically said that we just got to move on from this point on. We, it's more games we play, play, it's six more games, and then you never know what can happen. So we just like to um, move past it. I think this game right here just showed us that that's what we got to do, take it one game at a time and not, not take any slack on any opponent. I said that a few weeks ago, but I feel like as we kept winning, we kind of got away from that. So now this is, I feel like this has grounded us and I feel like we, you know, hit the ground running. It's a new game, new day. I mean, you got to prove yourself again. I, it's, you just got to let that last game go. You just You just got to focus on the now, what you can control. As well, our coach Jimbo says all the time, control what you can control. Like, look in front of you, not way in front because you're not going to be paying attention to things that are right up front. So, so we're, we'll be fine. Our coach is going to put us in the right direction. Our, our minds are in the right direction. We'll be fine. After facing a quick trigger quarterback in Mike Glennon, the Seminole defense will be prepared for Chase Reddick, who's now second nationally in passing yards per game. But they must get pressure on him quickly. Chase, Chase has been... Uh, uh, once again, everything we had hoped he would be. Uh, he's not perfect. Uh, he still makes some mistakes and some reads and uh, some of his throws, uh, but no one's perfect. Uh, he's done a good job managing. He's taken a, a few more hits than we would like, and uh, we're certainly uh, very sensitive to that going into this week. You know, I think with Glennon, you know, that he, he was a quick passer, so, you know, when they throw the ball and get the ball out of that pocket, you know, it, it's no good for the defense line. All you can do is try to just keep continuing trying to put pressure. So, I mean, as far as, you know, being a little bit easier because of the kind of game it is, I wouldn't say, you no. Know, we just have to, you know, just go in and just focus on things that we can focus on. Joined now by Seminole side com Brandon Meller. Brandon, uh, you know it is. It's still tough to having to think about last week's loss, but the Seminoles have put that behind them. Good week of practice and getting ready for Boston College. Should be a great crowd. It should be. And this is the biggest thing you can do after a loss is move on. And what better way to move on than actually play another game? I mean, these guys can say they've moved on, they turn the page. Well, you can't really do that until you actually get out here on this field, kick off, get you know get the you know, get the fans behind you and actually play the game and ideally win. I mean, obviously win is the biggest. You know, is the best medicine for for you know the, the what ails you after a loss, and, and I think the Knolls are prepared. I think they've pushed it aside, and and hopefully they use it uh, what happened last weekend as motivation and, and as a learning experience, and really you know maximize the benefits if there are any of a loss. One thing Coach Fisher mentioned during his uh, call-in show this past Wednesday night was the big plays. How he had more big plays called against NC State maybe than any game he had so far this season, but just things broke down. That's a quick way to get the fans back engaged in the game. A couple of big plays down the field. It is. It's huge, but you have to have. Protection. That was the biggest thing for the Knowles against NC State was, frankly, the pass protection was not very good. I mean, you give up four sacks after giving up six, you know, in the previous five games before that. Uh, E.G. Manor just didn't have time to throw the ball down the field. So, you know, naturally, Jimbo Fisher got away from those because you couldn't you couldn't convert those plays. Uh, you know, Boston College is not very good at rushing the pass. They're last in the nation in tackles for loss uh, towards the bottom in sacks. So, it, on paper, it looks like things should be okay for the Knowles, but that doesn't matter. When, when, when the whistle blows, the ball's kicked off. These guys have to go up there and block and perform and let that offense do what it can do so well when there's blocking, when the, when the execution is there, and, and, and go out there and play the kind of game that you know, they can play against the Eagles. Under the lights once again inside of Doe Campbell Stadium this Saturday night. Kickoff scheduled for 5.30 p.m. A few limited tickets are still remaining for the game. It's Parents Weekend. A lot of activities going on. It all gets started on Friday night with Seminole Madness over at the Tucker Center. And you'll want to stay tuned to Seminoles.com forward slash game day. It's your hub for everything you'll need from kickoff to post game, including live video interviews from the Seminole Locker Room. It's Florida State and Boston College here on Saturday at 5.30. We'll see you then.